So, buenos dias, Rahul. Buenos dias. And uh, thank you very much to having us uh, to your home today, this morning, and uh, to talk about your art and uh, show us your arts. And Rahul Arriba, as uh, probably some of you, you might know, not know, and he's a very famous artist, uh, Mexican artist based in Oaxaca, very accomplished. And uh, one of the feature of your work is uh, using uh, Chinese ink integrating into yes. the Western um, art world, which is very few Western artists actually doing that these days. And you embody the vividly, and especially I know that you pl you are expert in Tai Chi as well. Uh, I yes. would love to hear about uh, those stories. <laughs> 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 well, and then we have your cat, Katerina, joining us too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I was um, a self-made painter mm. yeah. because of my family, uh, they didn't like it, me to be a painter oh, wow. because um, my father was an uh, employee in the government sure. and my mother was the perfect uh, housekeeper and mother and wife and everything. Tiger mom? Very, no. very old, eh? Tiger mom. You know, in China, we have a tiger mom. They always tiger pressure mom. you, like, you have to do this, have to do that, you know, be practicing your, your skills academically. Is it your mother like that? No. Well, uh, <laughs> a little bit, but the problem is that yeah. uh, she, when I was a child, mm -hmm. uh, my parents were old. Mm. My mother was 41 when I was born. Yeah. And my father was 45. Uh, I had two, a brother and a sister who were much older than me. Yep. In fact, they could have been my parents. You uh -huh. know? My sure. brother was 19 when I was born. Oh, wow. And my sister was 16. Uh -huh. And uh, there were war times. Yeah. Everything was difficult. Mm -hmm. Then I was like uh, the last... Uh, yeah. member of the family who came uh, in a very impropriate yes. moment. So they want you to study something more serious or business. Yeah, my mother I wanted me to be a priest or... Priest. <laughs> <laughs> but I do not use... Or a to, yeah. doctor. Right. Yes. Or uh, because my grandfather, her father, my mother's father was yeah. uh, a doctor, sure. a homeopath doctor. Then but part did, of his yeah, bibliotheque right. library mm -hmm. was in our home. Ah, wow. And that's why I became what I am, because mm. I read almost all the books were <laughs> there mm -hmm. in the library because I was the, a lonely child. Right. You know? I do uh, know that you study um, aesthetic uh, and the psychology, uh, psychology in art and philosophy. I, I yeah. went to the philosophy school in the University in Mexico City. Is that combination with arts? Uh, yes, because uh, in the philosophy school they have art history. Sure. Uh, and art philosophy. Yes. Aesthetics. Is that aesthetics? The best teachers of aesthetics were in the university. They, they are still That's there. in Mexico City. Yes. Yeah. But they are all my teachers. Uh, Died already. So they all dead. <laughs> uh, how did you integrate the philosophy into the arts? Um, because that gives uh, a meaning to everything. Mm -hmm. The first thing in philosophy is the question: What am I doing here? Yeah, the purpose. Yes. And oh, then, from that principle, I started to wonder all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm still wondering: What am I doing here? What are we doing here? You know, I don't see the point. <laughs> I'm sure. It because it's like, like a circle. Uh, at the end, I have the conclusion that uh, we are here because the moment right now mm -hmm. is the project. We are here, and that's the project mm -hmm. to be here. And the to, project to of the yeah. system, the planetary system. Yeah the galaxy, whatever, Yes. we are all part of a, something so big. Yeah, we are 
We are very small element of the whole universe. Yes, uh, galaxy. but in, in spite of that, we are so small, mm -hmm. we can think and we have a conscious yeah. consciousness. Yes. And the project is to be here. Mm -hmm. And all, all the time trying to be happy, trying yeah. to be content. Yes. Looking for happiness. Yes. And we sometimes get a glimpse of it here and there. <laughs> and then when you think, when I think, that, oh, I already have it, boom, lose everything. You can't grab the realities, <laughs> have yeah. the attachments. Exactly. Have to, could have to be open-minded, like things comes and goes, that the yes. flow of the life is setting. And yeah. in the Chinese philosophy, mm -hmm. the Taoism, mm -hmm. yes. I found it the perfect philosophy. Mm -hmm. Because it's a in, in te, in te, uh, integral philosophy, I say. Complete, I, integral. Mm -hmm. How you say integral? Um, it's an integral in or integral philosophy. In, in te, okay. Integrationist. Whole. To be wholeness. Exactly. And, uh, I mean, that means like to be balanced. So that's what we say in the, in the Buddhism way, also like the middle way of the life, basically. Right. Uh, not to obsess too much about uh, physical world, but then at the same time be spiritual, be mindful, conscious about our spiritual part of the mind. But then you, you couldn't um, not to do drew into too much spiritual, and then you will become a monk <laughs> or something, <laughs> lost the reality, so it's the kind of a middle way. That's yeah, the, I, what love, I, I love exactly so. the idea of the middle way. Yeah, and also in Taoism, we're saying like, um, you, only you can let yourself go, and you become, you might become who you really are, because we've been so conditioned and thinking about, have that perception of who we, uh, but not necessarily the truth. Sometimes we'll have to take a step back. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, to, to talk about the Chinese um, uh, Oriental influence, because I know your work's been strongly influenced by the Oriental element. You use some brushworks, you know, Chinese inks, absolutely fascinated, you know, and the combination with the Chinese and the Western art elements, you know. Yes. When did you start to be um, draw into to the Oriental culture, I'd say? Uh, that was when I was uh, 20, 22 years old. Mm, I lived right. in London for one year. Yes, yeah. you, you t attend the Goldsmiths College, right? Uh, Central School. Oh, Central School. Right. Central yeah. School. Yeah. And uh, I have many friends in the in mm -hmm. London, mm -hmm. in England. Yeah. Now it's one more. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are my best friend now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you all, I don't know where are the others. Um, yeah. But the um, in uh, in London, all my friends were artists. Mm -hmm. Men and women. Yes. And um, in that time, I lived in Italy too. Sure. But uh, uh, I lived in Paris. Mm -hmm. That was my first year of a student. And one of the first books I started to read in French were the history of the Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. uh, the book was called. The long hair people. Mm. The the long long hair people. The long the, hair. The long hair. Ah, so the it's about the Qing destiny, long probably. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I love that that book. You know, yes. it was fantastic. All yeah. this. Uh, and the other thing is a combination of uh, warriors mm -hmm. and philosophers yeah. and artists. This is something that uh, is difficult to yeah. find in, in a culture. Mm -hmm. That combination of uh, illumination and understanding mm -hmm. and the ability to defend yourself and beat the others. Use the wisdom. <laughs> Just with your attitude. Yes, attitude you know? yes. The non-defense attitude, which is a real defense because 
Yes, so this is he from said, the drums. Because this is like yeah. practical Taoism. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not like the Tao Te Ching, mm -hmm. which is a Most 81 rules. chapters yeah. of and, uh, understanding yes. the universe. Mm -hmm. But these are much more stories. Right. And this story is uh, about how to get integrated, how to get involved mm -hmm. in, the, yes. in the river of, of life. Life. Yeah, to take life as a river. And we to are become better there. persons, actually, to how to treat your peers and how to build relationship with others, how to see the world with the, um, um, the attitude of the Tao, Taoism. Yeah. Well, it helped me very much because uh, my childhood Mm -hmm. was difficult because of the times. Yes, of course. Uh, we had a restaurant and my mother used to work in the restaurant yeah. time. She was a great chef. Yes. And I have a, I had a brother mm -hmm. and a sister and they were married. They started to get into the restaurant too. Sure. Yeah. When I was a child, my brother was uh, already a uh, married man and everything. I, uh, we were in the restaurant one night and some guys came and assaulted the... Uh, they tried to assault? Mm -hmm. Insult. Like rob, rob. Rob. Robbery. Robbery. Oh, wow. And my brother uh, fought... Fought those people. Those yeah. guys. Yeah. And one of them ha had a pistol and he shot my brother and his best friend and other cousin who was there. Wow, I'm so sorry. And I was drawing in the kitchen. You, you know, saw the restaurant. This, you saw everything happen. I heard the Gunshots. shots. I came out. I was nine years old. My brother was 27. And uh, I saw this guy with the gun. Mm -hmm. And that stopped my childhood. I forgot many things after that. Wow. But uh, I, I stopped being a child. But I was a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was your brother okay or he? Uh, he survived. Yeah. Right. And he was the best example yeah. for me mm -hmm. how to cope with accidents and with something so. which stops you in the middle of your life. He yes. was 27. He had a boy and a girl two children and uh, <coughs> he was paralyzed for about two years but always driving to to, to come walk back. Yeah. <coughs> right. he wanted to walk and he wanted to kill the guy who shot him <laughs> that, that's Sometimes revenge mm -hmm. is a good motivation to, mm -hmm. get, uh, to be alive, you know? <laughs> but not get into too much. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, important thing is that he couldn't walk the first years. Yeah. But he, he said, I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk. The will yeah. he has, and he determinations. Wanted, and he walked again. And yeah. he taught me to shoot in case uh, <laughs> we were going to, to look for this guy. But that made uh, something to me that I was uh, in the library, uh, my grandfather's library, mm -hmm. reading books, drawing. Mm -hmm. I started to draw and draw and draw. That was my favorite. What would you draw when you child? When you're in child? Histories. You histories. draw histories. Because I love the comics, you know. Oh wow! And the newspapers in Mexico. Sure. Uh, there was a, like in the States, and uh -huh. there was a section of uh, uh, comic. Sure. Uh, I used to see the comics, and I was five years old. Wow, that's and how I wanted to, to learn to mm -hmm. read, to understand mm -hmm. better the, sure. the stories. And I learned to read uh, by myself. Sure. So come back to this book. This is actually lead you to starting to explore the Chinese the calligraphy, the um, the brushworks. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was uh, 
fantastic mm -hmm. philosopher because yeah. his philosophy is always a kind of mathematical thinking, mm -hmm. you know? If you see somebody doing this, you understand that he could do other way. Mm -hmm. or yeah. And then this kind of, uh, and he has a, a, to reveal what reality is. There, there is one of the stories here mm -hmm. that uh, the, <coughs> the teacher was in the mountain and he lived in the mountain and to, to get water, he would go down yes, to yes. the uh, spring yes. with his buckets, buckets. and come back. Uh -huh, every and day. he was old, you know. Yeah. And one of his uh, disciples, he saw that, he said, Master, Master. And then he tried to make a wheel uh -huh. with a rope to, with to deliver the to buckets deliver the water. <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> to roll the water down and the up and down. <laughs> and then the <laughs> teacher was very angry. He said, you are so stupid. You want to make me not walk in the morning and have the most beautiful <laughs> walk in the morning, you know? I go down to the spring, as the sun coming out, come and uh, all that the process. beautiful things in yes. the morning. <laughs> and you want to take that away from me? <laughs> you want mm. me to be an old man there sitting for the bucket? No, no. And I think that's fantastic. That's. Uh, there's a lot this of is the problem of our society now. Yeah, I just want to say that. that yeah. They have to, all the merchants yeah. want us to buy uh, something that could do, you know, like... Uh, take, uh, take away... Yeah, something the, to comfort, yes. is comfort, you know. And Become too comfortable. Yeah, This too is why sometimes we, we need to, jump out, to I mean, come out of that comfort zone. To, to explore and to feel the life again. <laughs> yes. And now we are yeah. living in the extreme situation. Mm -hmm. We are surrounded by business. Yeah. Everybody wants to sell us everything. Now they want to sell us the, the right to go out and... Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. terrible, you know. Totally I, I think that's a terrible thing. It's a very different world where you're born and now. It's, yes. It's <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Other things, so you know, is. that my father used to come from an area in Veracruz mm -hmm. where they were, there was a big river yeah. and then a lot of little ranch, you mm -hmm. know, little farms sure. around. And uh, I, I stayed there for about two months when I was mm -hmm. very, very young. Yeah. And I loved this. I came out to walk. Mm -hmm. I went for a walk. And they will say, hey, hello, come on, have a coffee. Or, hey, what is, oh, you want to do? I'm going some cake. Or, mm -hmm. I'll take one of the fruits I have. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And everybody was. Community. Is community. Integrating, yes, connected. Uh, and now it's, the cities are terrible. But Oaxaca, because it's a place which is a little bit. Different. Different. Yeah, I felt that. It's well. a little bit province. Yeah. In that way, mm -hmm. people are still integrating, open and nice and everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you did uh, live in um, France and Italy, London. Yes, I live uh, uh, first um, yeah. when I was uh, twenty, yeah. and I was in the university in Mexico. Mm -hmm. I hadn't left the country. I had never been in the states mm -hmm. or anywhere. Yeah, yeah. But uh, because I read mm -hmm. many books about the Bohem, Bohemia, mm -hmm. Bohem, Bohemia, yeah, yeah. Bohemia yeah. and yeah. Paris, and, see, see. Yeah. and I wanted to leave that. You know? mm -hmm. And the uh, the ambience in Mexico with painters and the art school was very nice, mm -hmm. very open, very. Sure. Were, most of the people were left wing. Mm -hmm. uh, and had uh, no this labor. revolutionary yeah, mind. Okay, yeah. And that was fantastic for sure. me because I was very angry because of what happened to my brother sure. and then what happened to my sister and then some other things were happening. I was always angry. You know, and uh, with that 
idea to paint, mm -hmm. to fight for justice, to show the people what I think. You know? uh -huh. That was the first motivation. Yeah. That was maybe a purpose at that time, you felt like. Maybe. Yes. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, I left Mexico when I was 20. I went to Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to, I had a girlfriend mm -hmm. in the philosophy in the university. Sure. And she had a grant to go and study French there. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was very jealous and I said, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> then mm. I, I had a, uh, there was an exhibition yeah. in the French uh, school, mm -hmm. in the French Institute. Yeah. And I got uh, a prize in one of the, there were prizes in the paintings. Okay. Then they gave me a ticket to go to, to Paris. It's like a dream come true. Uh, to go of, and study the art there. Yes. How did you find uh, the, the time in France and uh, the styles that time in, in the French culture and, and the painting like skills influenced your later works as well? Well, in the art school uh, were very nice mm -hmm. people. I had a, a teacher yep. who was a very figurative painter, mm -hmm. a bit like uh, late Renoir or something sure, like that. Yeah. He was yeah. very nice man. He was called Ajom. Ajom. Ahaume. Okay. <laughs> Ahaume, Ajom. And, um, but I've been there a short time. Uh -huh. Then I left and went to Italy because mm -hmm. I had a, a friend who was mm -hmm. an art critic, historian. See, si, see. Si. And he was one of the first person to write about my work. Mm. He was a little bit older than me, about six years old. Sure. I wanted to paint <laughs> quantum physics. <laughs> but that's what I was still doing, you know. Yeah. Movement is Movement. everything. Yeah. Energy. Uh, matter doesn't exist, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has no... Everything is energy in yes. different vibrations. Absolutely, When yes. I started reading that, I was like, oh, wow, that's, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> we don't know those things. Mm -hmm. We don't think about it. And especially in that time, yeah. they still thought about matter and energy, and two it, different two things. Different, so. Actually, everything's integrated. It's all yes, in the yeah. whole thing is a, a movement, though. And everything is moving. Is that how you get into the Tai Chi? <laughs> And the movement, and the then cheese. For and two reasons. Yeah. First, I wanted to learn a martial art mm -hmm. to defend myself mm -hmm. without a gun. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to have a, a gun in my side, like yeah. my brother and my father. Like Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to really learn how to mm -hmm. defend myself. Sure. I did judo. Uh -huh, and jiu-jitsu okay. and aikido, okay. which are Japanese. Sure. And the Chinese schools were not very, they were not well known. Mm -hmm. The first time I went to San Francisco and looked for a Tai Chi school, mm -hmm. they were not like Tai Chi. You know? They say, ah, you go with Master Wong, it's in that school. Was a hidden. <laughs> you have to, yeah. You find the hidden masters. And you have to ask him if he can. Uh, Teach him. Uh, yeah. They won't be a pre apprentice, something <laughs> like, yes. Mm -hmm. Then I found a teacher in Los, An Los Angeles. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, he was called Wing Wu. Mm -hmm. uh, really a fantastic teacher. And he was... Uh, especially a Tai Chi Chuan master, mm -hmm. but I, he knew all the other Wushu mm. techniques. Right. And uh, he could jump and touch the, the ceiling. Oh, so you say you can jump to the roof. Like I just thought. <laughs> boom! I said, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, we made a joke. I said, why do. Do you, I told them, why do you have to do a movement like that? Uh -huh. You want to kick uh, King Kong's balls? Okay. You know King Kong? Who was? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And then, uh, but uh, it was fantastic, Tai Chi Chuan mm. for me. So now and you're I'm an expert. I heard you are teaching on Zoom as well. <laughs> on what? On Zoom. You are teaching, you are teaching Tai Chi Chuan yes, weekly. I, I've been teaching in Mexico right. some years for two reasons. Mm -hmm. to not to lose the, the, the practice. The mm -hmm. practice. Yes. And to learn more about mm -hmm. it. You know? How did you see the Taiji Chuan, I mean the Qi, the energy flowment integrate into your artworks? Because I actually, when I see your artworks, and I really can see the movement, actually, the, the free flows and uh, the energy flows actually in, into your work. Because that, the, the, yeah. uh, the martial techniques mm -hmm. what you're about, are centered in the Tan Tian. Tan Tian, yes. And from that, you can liberate all your movements mm -hmm. because there is a center. So are you saying you paint when you are using oh. your dantian? <laughs> it's, a, it's like a scream, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, la sure. sword fighting. Sure, sure. I see it as uh, I am a warrior of art. You know? Okay, I would the say The brush I is my sword. sword. Okay, <laughs> yes, I, I heard. Some people say that, yeah. The, the different way of uh, expressions, the, the, the different way of, um, as I say, fighting a justice and express yourself, different way of to to show your ideas and mm -hmm. your views to, to the world using the brush. Yeah. And the other good thing was my my father's, my mother's and my father's family, mm -hmm. they all had some art uh, learning Relations. and it was this art to cultivate art to have books mm -hmm. to play instruments all my aunts yeah. play piano yeah I yeah, know you play too piano. yes and yeah. I play piano too and uh, my uncles too mm -hmm. uh, the older, my mother's older brother, mm -hmm. he was a writer, a journalist. Sure. And, uh, but at the end, because he was in the revolution, mm -hmm. uh, he was almost shot because he was a liberal. Too outspoken. <laughs> they had a, a, mm -hmm. a, a, a newspaper, my grandfather and my mm -hmm. uncle had a See. newspaper called Free Man. Oh, wow. The free man okay. paper. Very provocative uh, about the current affairs. <laughs> it was a kind of uh, anarchism, but uh, um, by directed by the philosophy of open mm -hmm. and learning and understanding. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only thing I am a little bit uh, afraid mm -hmm. is that in order to balance things, you have to first lose the balance <laughs> oh. and get into a <laughs> terrible a <laughs> chaos, <laughs> okay. and that chaos find that another balance, mm. because and the, I was now... That but that's how creating art, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how creating art, finding order from the chaos, you know. Yes. And uh, to be okay with accident happening. Well, in when something is <laughs> and in, I, in my mind, to say, doesn't move, when mm -hmm. something doesn't move, mm -hmm. everything dies. Yeah. If there is no limit. movement, there is no it's life. Very and awesome. to yeah. be the movement, it mm -hmm. has to be something that with breaks, mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Everything is still, everything is cool, and something starts moving, and then it disrupts everything, and then it starts the movement, it starts life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And because we are in this moving universe, mm -hmm. I think that everything is happening. Mm -hmm. I cannot decree, say, uh, it's going to be like that or like that. Yeah. Everything is happening. Yeah. Then if I am open to it, I can adapt to it a set to change. and use a set to the change. movement, you yes. see. That's a Chinese <laughs> <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> yes. The adapter of the changes, embracing changes. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
So would you give any emerging artist any advice when they starting their journey being artist or like been on this journey for some time? What's your you know advice to give to them? There's always I'm always asking this to 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 my fe fellow like kind of uh, yeah artists who already well, been on this path. My advice is that if if uh, the most important thing is to open yourself. Mm not to close yourself but to open yourself yeah. and learn that's the most important thing yeah. because we are uh, living something that we don't know what it is you know yeah. when we are born sure i want to i remember this first feeling of seeing something for the first time in mm -hmm. your life i remember the first time i saw a rose some but with some consciousness, must have been five, mm -hmm. and suddenly I was, I was like, there were roses in the house, but yes. I had never seen them in that way, uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't remember how it was, but I was coming back from something, yes. and went to the garden, it was a new rose in the, new <laughs> and I stayed there, wow. Be curious. Yeah. Be curious, I would say. Be curious, be and open. Then and then from there, I find everything I wanted yeah. to see mm -hmm. and to understand it. And should you have that curiosity it's about life? Probably curiosity. Curiosity. Curiosity to, to willing to explore. That's my actually yes. feeling like more, more embodied with me. Yeah, I That's can it. see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. You know, I love uh, women warriors, yes. warrior women. Yes. My mother was a warrior, but she was compressed by my the whole system, you know. Mm -hmm. And she used to adore my father, and, mm -hmm. and I used to think, why does she love this man who treats her so badly, you know? He never did anything yeah. by nothing. But uh, when he came to have a meal, he mm -hmm. always ate alone mm -hmm. uh, because he came. Another time when I came back from the school, mm -hmm. it was a kind of different thing. time. Yeah. And uh, I remember one say, "See, the soup is too salty; mm -hmm. it has too much salt." And then she left the soup like that, and my mother was like, oh. and I was really angry. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to uh, protect your mom? <laughs> yes. And then, but uh, it was the world. It was she adored him. Well, I think women have a different roles now in society. Yeah, I think this so conditioning. Yeah. Those sure. are conditioning so of this. Breaking. We are developing. Yeah. We are not a developed. Yes. Being so whatever you know. Keep evolving. We are taking. evolving all yes, the time. Absolutely. And every time you, we are born, it's not like the cats. They already have to. A little cat is already hunting cockroaches and and mouse, you know, and mice. We need to relearn it. <laughs> and we have to learn everything. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. We have to learn everything. Yes. Sure. So let's have a look some your okay. work. I wanted this was. It's called. Irreversible. Irreversible. Irreversible? Reversal. Irreversible. Irreversible. It says you cannot. You can reverse. You, can, you cannot retreat. Okay. <laughs> and then you were using the. That's your brush. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it was like. Um, you know. Because it's difficult here to find big brushes. I made this. <laughs> wow, that's See? amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your biggest brush? <laughs> if you saw what the. the oh, wow, it's quite. What is the. Is that horse? Uh, horse tail. Horse tail, right? Horse tail. Horse tail. Okay. I said, I can be like the... I can totally see <laughs> lots of movement and emotions, actually. Yes. Nice, uh, I love the 
red in the background. Yeah. And the, this is a yink, is it? Yes. Like, and the, the base is acrylic or only? The base is acrylic. acrylic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I love this accident, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and the, the brush. Was I love, uh, I want that people see mm -hmm. the brush working there. Yes. Uh, so those, those paintings lot. that people yeah. do, like if they were photographies, I think it's terrible because <laughs> there is no people there, you know? <laughs> no movement. <laughs> This one with this uh, static movement. Yes. This is uh, an idea of uh, a biombo, a screen, yes. uh, like the oriental screens. Yes, yes. That with that screen you can divide spaces in a house. Yes. Does that have any meanings than this? The, uh, this yes. I made in. Uh, a series of this, right? okay. I made these paintings. Yeah. Uh, about Montalban. You remember yes, uh, in Montalban, yes, the there are some stones with uh, oh, yes, the men left, uh, doing uh, like yes, things. Yes. And I thought they were dancers, but they said, no, no, no. Those are the, uh, the, the dead thought. people the death is in the, in the um, uh, ball games. Yes, the warriors. The warriors, the warriors. Uh, or the warriors who were sacrificed. And yes. Then they were like to remember them like the saints in a uh, fact. It does look like the shapes actually. It's very yeah. much look like the warriors. And now the back as well, right? The back. Yes, in both mm -hmm. sides. Mm -hmm. That's a bit different, I would say. Yeah, well, that's a kind of expansion of the whole. Expansion. Yeah, but these are very clear the, the movements, you know. Mm -hmm. of That's a bit like a Tai Chi Chuan as well. <laughs> yeah, I would say. In fact, the, uh, our movements are always limited to our Body. bodies. And this is your own brushes. Ah, those are my the collection Japanese of the and Chinese, Chinese brushes. brushes. But I use them all. Mm -hmm. Because I have some friends here uh, who became uh, very rich for, with their paintings. Mm. And then they went to China and bought 50 of these. And I said, wow. what, what do I you... I feel like I have a need to <laughs> someone go to China. Because I'm also Russian. <laughs> Yeah, that was a brush. In, no, there was paper inside oh, paper. this box. Uh, rolls of paper with 10 meters of paper. Because mm. you do lots of like the ink works on the paper and then just yeah. glue them. Yeah, and then glue it. Glue I think the most difficult part is to glue, glue. them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this painting is finished? This painting, yeah, well. That call it the gold, gold. the gold uh, uh, becerro. This is the cow. Oh, okay. The golden cow and people fighting, you know, for the for the flags. Uh -huh. For the flags. <laughs> <laughs> what a prosthetic. <laughs> And this is a hunting the whale or shark or yes. something. It is the virus for us. Yeah. Hmm. It's a bit showing the world where people living under the protection of the gold. Okay. I just let the piano play. Play. <laughs> Everything you is a sound in this. Listening to 81 years old Yuan Hu playing his piano piece, a sense of emotions arise. I'm seeing this young boy in his granddad's library, reading books, learning history, drawing comic. He has this curiosity about nature, universe, and the world around him. Wonder his existence, which I feel so much related to. And this is why I'm on the path of Emma. 
the wisdom he shared with me, the attitude of a dog, the philosophy of opening to learn, receive, understand the world, and the many other stories are so valuable to many of us. Today, we are living a simple life in Oaxaca City, Mexico. Practice Tai Chi daily. Still use his brush as his soul to unveil the truth, express his view, show his feeling to the world. The world needed more than ever. Maybe some quietness, slow down, and look back what we have learned from our humanity history to bring a better future for all.